State of Origin 2021, what an interesting series it was. A very dominant start to the series from the Blues and then what came out to be a very interesting match in Game 3. So I'm just going to go over my 2021 State of Origin review, kind of give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the series, uh, what I thought both teams did well and um, my thoughts on next year as well towards the end of the video. So to begin with, the first game, uh, the Blues up in Townsville, 150 to 6, very dominant performance. Um, in that game, there was obviously some um, like some disruptions to the whole camp for the Maroons and the Blues. Maroons, you probably argue a little bit more than the Blues. However, uh, I think the first game, the Blues really came out really strong, really well. Um, Jerome Luai and Nathan Cleary, obviously the club combination did very well and Tom Turbo um, just was uncontrollable that game. He was everywhere, did, played nearly every position on the field and was very good for the Blues. Scored a hat-trick. Um, Latrell Mitchell also played well that game. Brian Toto, uh, the forwards did very well and the Maroons just came out a little bit lackluster. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to the game and it was a very, very good first 20 minutes I thought uh, until um, Welsh got injured. It was a very tough match and both teams were really in the grind. Welsh got injured with the HIA, couldn't come back and then the Blues started to pile on points. Jonathan and Gale was an interesting pick, didn't get picked for the rest of the series. Um, and yeah, it was just the first game for um, Paul Green as well. So, you know, trying to iron out some things still for that. Uh, but yeah, the Blues just played really well, um, outplayed Maroons easily and came away with a very good win. The second game, there was a bit of disruptions again for that one uh, with um, the young um, Reese Walsh not being able to play through injury, then having uh, Ronaldo being pulled out in the last minute because of eligibility problems. Personally, I put that blame on the selectors. Um, that's something that they should have personally. I think they should have looked at more beforehand and um, made sure that was ironed out and that he 100% could play beforehand. Um, and yeah, so they had to call in Xavier Coates last minute. Unideal, but um, in the end, the forwards for the Blues, I think, just ended up winning that one again, um, playing, playing really well. It was a tighter game, as you can see. You know, only scored just over half the amount of points, but were able to keep the Maroons to nil, which was very good to see. Um, try savers there that towards the end of the game probably shouldn't have made the effort to, but the Blues wanted to keep them scoreless, and it was a very good sight. And um, very happy as a Blues fan to see that. Uh, Tom, again, really good. Uh, Teddy played well in that one as well. And um, from memory, um, that's when Luai picked up his injury. Um, but Cleary and Luai played well. Um, and then we, there's not really much to talk about that game. It was a tidy game. It was a better game. Um, but still, Maroons had a lot to work on. There was a lot of discussion about the team and the coach not um, communicating together well, not getting their game plan together well, all this type of stuff, which was worrying. Then we move on to game three, the most recent game, where Maroons picked up the game three and did not let the Blues have a whitewash. They won 20 to 18, and this is the biggest uh, talking point I want to do in this video. This was easily the best match of the series, and other than the first half with a lot of referee calls, I feel like the first two games referee-wise was very good. They let the players decide the third game. A couple more um, penalties and six games blown in the first half. The second half got better. But in the end, um, Maroons deserved the win. They were able to match the Blues and come away with moments where the Blues just weren't able to. I want to talk through the Blues team first. I think the Blues played very well that game. It was 18-all. Technically, like score-wise, it was 18-all. Only a penalty goal really divided the, the game which happened in the fourth minute. So all in all, it was a very, very um, tough game. And without the two-star playmakers, Luai and Cleary, Cleary being the dominant one, it was always going to be a tough match. Mitch Moses, I think, played well defensively, had no problems. Um, 
and attacking wise you could make the argument he could have probably got involved a little bit more however um we also didn't have the ball there for like eight minutes in this in the end of the first half a lot of a lot of things didn't quite go well as well as it did in the first two where i think if it went our way a little bit more not saying that it should have but you know if the bounce of the ball went our way a little bit maybe mitch would have been able to get his hand on the ball more jack white though i think proved that he still can be a very good 5-8 I think there's just problems within the Raiders camp that is hindering a lot of performances. But um, Jack White definitely showed that he can, is a still a devastating ball runner. And I'm very happy with Happy Curacao. 14th man, came on, scored a try, debut. And congratulations to Appy. Uh, the rest of the team, I think we missed Daniel Saifiti in that team. Um, just a little more go forward and... Dale Finucane did very well, but I, I, I feel like we just missed uh, Dale Saifidi. Whether that meant we dropped Liam Martin, even though Liam Martin played quite well, I feel like other than when he first came onto the field and made those couple runs near the line, he did go missing a little bit compared to the first two games. Um, but all in all, I think all, everyone that played in the Blues jersey did a very good job throughout the series. For Maroons, Caelan Ponga just changed the game. He, his energy, his support, everything that he does is just so good. Um, he is the turbo for the Maroons. And I feel like you can't leave him out of the Australian side just through the impact he has in Clubland and in Origin. Uh, Kalen Ponga, I feel like, would be the 14th man if um, the NRL is able to play in the World Cup at the end of the year. Um, ben Hunt played very well. Also very hard to leave him out of the side. However, uh, I think Damien Cook does just edge a little bit. Um, and then for the rest of the team, the forwards stood up, did their job. I think Tino played well. Papali'i played well. Um, David Fafida didn't really see much of him. Oh, because he was a spend, that's right. Um, <laughs> ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, Felice, I think, played better than he has in the first two. Um, Kirk Capel, I think, showed that he can play origin well in the second rows um and that he still deserves a spot in the Maroons team uh, exiling completely isn't the option isn't i don't think there's a way to go um uh, playing him in, playing him in his preferred position i think is the way to go um obviously with the two um kind of inclusions francis molo i know he was there for game two but uh tom flegler i think brought a little bit of enthusiasm to the team i uh, was 18th and 20th man and then was able to be called up didn't do a whole lot. I think Francis Molo played a lot better than he get, did in game two. Um, Tom Flogler did a little bit, not not an exciting amount, but did his job. And I want to say, I think even if Luttrell does kick that penalty goal, I still think Maroons win just because of the field goal uh, experts in Maroons outweigh the Blues. I feel like for the Blues, we've only really got Luttrell. Um, I think Mitchell would probably give it a shot. And Jack would probably give it a shot, but I think the trails really are only option. Um, and we'd have to probably score a try to win. So I still think Maroons do win game three, unfortunately. But um, yeah, a very dominant performance from the Blues all series. And um, yeah, very much looking forward to next year. Hopefully the Blues can host two games next year. Um, and they're not all Queensland games, but still nonetheless, um, it proved this year not to be a factor where you really play as long as you've got the players that are good enough on the day, you can wear win wherever. Uh, very happy from that performance. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the series, what you guys thought, uh, what players did well. Uh, if you're very familiar with the series, uh, Tom Toboyevic, I certainly do. I think Latrell and to uh, Toto were definitely in that conversation as well. If Cleary plays game three, I think he gets it hands down. And yeah, let me know what you guys what changes you would have made to teams um, and if you were to pick a team next year who would you swap out and who would you keep in the teams leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe not to miss out and i'll catch you later peace